Welcome, today we're checking out a Minecraft custom enchantment plugin. Advanced Enchantment. What is Advanced Enchantment? It's the first custom enchants plugin that allows you to create custom enchants without any programming knowledge. Custom enchants are also integrated with Enchantment Table and Anvil, as well as Enchanter and Tinker. The plugin allows you to create custom enchants through a website or configuration. If you are searching for one, there's no other better solution than this. This is perfect, it has all the features and we're gonna be looking over them right now. So, the first main feature is the integration with the enchantment table. This is amazing. This changes the way players play Minecraft. Normally, there's just that many vanilla enchants you can use. But this, this changes everything. You're able to get custom enchants on items using the enchantment table. Let me demonstrate. So, here you can see we got sharpness 1, obliterate 1 on our diamond sword. So basically you can get all enchants available on this plugin through the enchantment table. Later in the video I will show you how the configs look for all of these features. So the next main feature is enchanter. This is basically what you use if you don't want to use the enchantment table. You just do slash enchanter or you can just set up an NPC on your server like this which you can right click. And here you go, you open up the enchanter. This is basically like an enchantment table, but it's a little bit different. This is what servers use to have a specific requirement to get custom enchants. You can see the costs are different for each group. So yeah, let's try it out by buying a legendary enchantment. So yeah, I gave a little bit more XP to myself. There we go. We got a legendary enchantment book. So you just basically right click this. And you open up a random enchantment and we got armored 4. This decreases damage from enemy swords by 2% per level. You can get any of the enchantments available through the enchanter. This is pretty good balancing way for the server because you actually charge the amount you want. And because it's random, they can choose the enchantments they want and basically they are able to get random enchantments and they need to grind to get the enchantments they want. You can right click these to see all the enchantments available. A huge part of this plugin is Tinker and Alchemist. So Tinker basically allows you to trade in books and custom enchanted items for experience back and for secret dust. We're gonna get to secret dust later. So basically you just accept the trade and you get these items and open secret dust. For alchemist it's pretty basic, you just combine few items. So you can combine two same enchantment books for one book of higher level and two magic dusts of the same rarity to one magic dust with higher chances. There's so many custom items in this plugin, we're gonna be looking through some of them right now. First item is item name tag. You can use it to customize your equipment with a custom name. Black scrolls, you can use these to remove random enchantments from items. White scrolls, you can apply them to items to protect items from failing when applying custom enchant. Soul tracker, you basically use this soul tracker to track how many kills the player has done. And using these skills, it's an integrated economy, I'm gonna explain it a little bit later. This is a randomization scroll, you can apply this to custom enchantment books to reroll the success and the start chances. It's a block track creator. It tracks how many blocks were broken by an item. This is a soul gem. So yeah, this ties back with soul tracker. And this is a custom economy. You can use this to charge for activating enchantments. So basically you have an overpowered enchantment and you can charge soul gems that are applied to an item to activate enchantments. This is the magic dust, which we got from Tinker. You can apply this to items to increase success. And there's way more items you can check out on the plugin page. So as promised, here you can see the enchantment table file. So you can toggle it between enable disabled. You can change chances of enchantment uh, becoming a custom enchantment in the enchantment table. Also, you can set uh, group chances for enchantment table as well. So you can have it so like the, the first simple group has one chance and the other groups have lower chances so it's a bit more balancing. You can also change prices for custom enchants. Here you can see the configuration file config.yml for advanced enchantments. So you can set command permissions, 
you can actually customize all the commands for, that players can access, like change the actual command and add aliases, even disable them, and uh, change permissions per command. Uh, you can configure alchemist here. Uh, there's way more things, souls, slots, the enchantment books, all the configuration for custom items as well. You can configure the enchanter here as well. So that's pretty much it. If you want to find out how you can get this plugin, check out the description below. You can also click here to see the video on how you can buy this plugin.